Hi, I'm Brady Forrest, back with this week's episode of Ignite. Cyber anthropologists study how technology changes our lives as we use it more and more and more. Amber Case is just such an anthropologist, and at Ignite Boulder she gave a short introduction to cyber anthropology. Enjoy! Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They've ranged from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate, any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes, and 20 slides that auto-advance every 15 seconds. The talk you're about to hear was recorded live at one of the featured Ignite events around the world. My name is Amber Case. I'm a cyborg anthropologist, and I want to give you a short introduction to cyborg anthropology because there's no time for a long one. Sorry, uh, it's a very interesting topic, what I'm about to present on, hopefully. <laughs> we are all cyborgs. You're a cyborg, you're a cyborg, all of you are cyborgs, and you're in a, a techno-social relationship with me because you're watching me present through this techno-social device that we call PowerPoint that used to be a torture device but is now, thankfully, um, uh, helped. Um, this guy's also a cyborg because he uses a tool and he's outsourcing uh, the tool so that he can do a better job with uh, beating people over the head or getting other type of resources much like we do today online. If uh, Anyway, humans and uh, technology co-create each other in a techno-social actor network. So if you press the back button on a website you're saying no this website sucks and that website dies a sorry little death if too many people do that. So if you don't like something you don't vote for it by simply saying you don't like that piece of technology. This piece of technology people do like. People, the elderly use this piece and they pet it and it makes neat noises and uh, it's now a, a staple in Japanese elderly homes and it works really well. So uh, it only costs about $4,000. I highly suggest that you purchase something like this. But <laughs> please don't do this. This is bad. Um, <laughs> make sure you look at building codes before you uh, implement new pieces of technology or old pieces of technology or any type of technology in general. Sometimes it just cancels each other out. Um, in terms of interfaces, people don't like waiting for elevators. People don't like waiting for a page to load. Don't put too much flash on your page. Don't make people wait and wait and wait because uh, you'll get something like this. And this is awful. <laughs> there is a, um, right here, this, this is the manual, the PDF manual. And if you click it, it opens and it tells you how to use it. So uh, if you do make an interface like this, make sure the manual is easily found or else people won't be able to uh, use it. So uh, Atlas never had it this easy. The world's getting smaller and smaller. It used to be that you took a billion dollars to uh, uh, tear up a highway if you wanted people to move, but now you just use a 301 redirect online and everyone's going to the new site. It takes maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, so everything is converging, all the technology is converging into one and the distance between space and time to get to technology is getting shorter and shorter so now we can Twitter and Plurk and Facebook and MySpace and the other ones. <laughs> but <laughs> what happens to privacy? Well, uh, we're losing our privacy, so unless we want to go around like this we have to seriously consider implications of privacy in the future. Um, or this type of privacy where everyone knows where everyone is. <laughs> he said he was going to uh, work, but he went to a strip club and over here, and uh, he was caught on, on Google camera, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the internet. This is what it looks like if you wanted to know. Uh, it's a very exciting place. There are many nodes and other nodes. In, in fact, this is Sarah Palin. <laughs> Um, this just got dug. Uh, so uh, uh, one rule, omit unnecessary cyborgs. Um, replace them with better things. There are, there are definitely better options out here. Please, please don't use this. Last time I presented this, someone invented this in the audience and they said, thank you very much for putting that in. You could use this instead. This is, this is much more useful, hopefully. <laughs> Keep that in mind, I'm waiting for the, oh yes, so use these tools. This is supposed to be the serious part, so, it's, so pay close attention that wikis are great and you can start flame wars on a wiki and, and other things and you can uh, also debate hot dogs and um, Jedis and, and so this, this steering wheel, um, this is what 
the computer was like, and this is what they thought the computer would be like in the future. Um, so this is what our printers look like. So thankfully, we've come a long ways. I think this was uh, from a while ago, but this, this is coming out next year. So uh, you'll be able to walk around and look completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to do that without <laughs> 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 Thank you to technology. If she walked down the street, it'd be awesome, but I don't know if, if, if anybody else could pull that off. Um, this one converts Latin to English or English to Latin if you want it that way. So you can do lorem ipsum for your websites. Um, <laughs> and this one tells you the nutrition facts. This is a screen you can put on your uh, fruit. So thank you. Hopefully that makes some sense.